Yo, what is up, you two? We are back on the Madden 15, and yesterday on Sunday, we have some new all rookies, and today we got some new positional heroes as well as this nonsense where you vote on your favorite ultimate team. Now, this honestly is just some random pointless promotion they're doing, or at least that's how I'm singing now. I could be completely wrong, but I read up on it, and pretty much each of these guys crafted their own ultimate team. You vote on whose ultimate team you like the most, then whoever wins, a player from that team will be given to everybody. So that's what's going on right now. Gronkowski has Bo Jackson on his team, but let's be real, they're not gonna give everybody a Bo Jackson. So I don't know, I mean, this is just pointless promotion, I guess, I don't know. Now today we got some positional sets, a kicker punter set and a right tackle set. Right tackle, you get a 99 overall Ricky Warner, punter and kicker, kicker, Sebastian Janikowski. Now honestly guys, this Sebastian Janikowski is probably the best Positional hero they've released as of yet, man. 100 kick power, 98 kick accuracy. Arguably one of the most consistent kickers in NFL history. Janikowski made 86.4% of his field goals this year at the age of 36. 100 kick power, man. That means that means you can probably make what 65, 64 yard field goals with ease. Janikowski probably the best one out right now. Honestly, I'm gonna get this card too. I'm just not sure how much to spend on it or where his price is going to level out. But right now, Janikowski, probably honestly, in my opinion, the best hero they've dropped as of yet. But that's just me. I could be wrong. Just my opinion. Now, this punter, John Hecker, 99 overall. Man, I don't really punt too much. So Marquette King definitely gets the job done for me. But if you want some extra boom onto your kicks, man, 97 kick power, 100 kick accuracy. Compare him to Marquette King. Oh, King isn't even on this roster. Okay. I guess King is no longer on my, on my roster. Okay, I'm tripping. But yeah, once again, John Hecker, 97 kick power, 100 kick accuracy, and 90 awareness. He's cool, but I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't spend that much on a punter. To me, punting is more so about how good you are as a user when it comes to punt and pitting people deep more so less than, you know, kick power. Now, next up, we got Ricky Wagner, 99 overall right tackle, and I just picked up ultimate legend Dan Deardorff. Spoiler alert for next season. We're going to rock out with him, but quickly, 99 overall, 94 pass block, 98 run block, 95 impact block, and 88 acceleration, man. I don't know. Stats aren't that impressive. I don't find any of the stats on the positional offensive linemen that great, to be honest. Ultimate legend offensive linemen just take a big poop on these positional hero offensive linemen, man. I wish, I wish they would have did these maybe at the end. I don't know, man. Right now, to me, these positional offensive linemen are just honestly kind of, kind of trash in my opinion. Like, if you're going to get this car, you might as well get Deardorff because they cost around the same price and Deardorff is so much better. Now, quickly, the all-rookies. Got to check out the all-rookies, man. See what they're working with. See what new rookies we got. This guy came out yesterday, Coney Ely, 89 overall, very basic stats, nothing special at this stage. And my quick look at his stats, though, 85 speed, 88 block shit, and 91 tackle. Next up, we got Jeremy Hill. This guy had a great rookie season. He was putting up big games, was a great fantasy pickup, too, this year, if you play fantasy football. 94 overall, though, 95 speed, 97 trucking, 94 excel, and 95 carry, very, very balanced running back. Jeremy Hill led all rookies in rushing yards and touchdowns with 1,124 yards and nine touchdowns, respectively. The only downside or negative about this card is his catching isn't too crazy at a 77, but that's more than enough to catch a screen pass or, you know, a pattern out the backfield. Great catch rating, or not great, but it's more than enough. His stiff form is also pretty good too at a 95, and his spin move is great at a 96, so if this guy's price drops, I think right now he's like, what, 40, 30K? He's a, he's a great budgety pickup. I get a lot of tweets, Berg, what running back should I get for less than 50K? Get this guy. He's balanced, and he has great stats. Now, it's one more all-rookie card I want to show you guys, and this guy's a mighty mouse. He's small, but he can pack a punch. And that is this Calvin Pryor going for less than 30K. Man, this dude, this dude can hit. This dude can hit. 92 overall, strong safety, 97 hit power. Only 5'11", though. 93 speed, 71 man coverage, 85 zone, and 84 tackle. I know this year, a lot of people are big on height. I've had times where I've been really big on height myself, but 5'11", what really is one inch? or two inch in my, I think, I honestly think people put too much stock into the height this year, especially when it comes to defense. But here we go though, Pryor finished second among rookie safeties with 61 tackles as well as 20 tackles that resulted in a one yard gain or less. 5'11", 93 speed, 97 hit power. He can be an enforcer if you know how to lay the boom and force fumbles with hit sticks. And his catching is okay, I believe, could be better. 65 catching, but in my opinion, man, catching gets iffy. It's iffy, they're never gonna catch every pick and they're never gonna drop every pick. I had games where I'd get three picks of Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews has 50 something catching, so catching is iffy, but if your users are right, more than likely they'll let you bring him down. And you know, his catching isn't too bad, I guess. Right on par at a 65 for most strong safeties. But once again, a Mighty Mouse, he can pack a punch. Might be a great player to sub in when you're really just trying to stop the run and maybe get a big play. Now guys, today we got a new bundle, 15 all pro pack bundle. This is our bundle for the next four days. And man, 
this is one ass bundle 15 all pro packs which don't really guarantee anything and a topper is an all rookie team elite player all rookie team elite players go for less than 100k why would you spend 50 dollars for that guaranteed topper so for that reason since the guarantee is so bad i would not recommend this bundle now instead of pulling some packs we're gonna knock out some sets first up the gronkowski set once again he has bow on his team so everybody's pulling for gronk even though they're not gonna give us a bow but hey i'll join in on the fun i'll give gronk my collectible then come down warriors rg3 i gotta get them man it's only right let me see here i gotta get these last three pieces and i don't think they'll cost me too much i don't think they will we'll see this one's 29k and this one will be how much another what 29k all right all right right at 90k for these three collectibles not too bad so here we go i think i have enough to knock this bad boy yeah hopefully i got enough gold badges man not trying to buy gold badges badges are so high right now not trying to deal with that nonsense man i wish i kind of wish i would have stocked up more on elite badges but that's not my style man i knew the price would go up i was preaching about it for weeks but i didn't stock up enough i stocked up to do some flashbacks which is what i wanted to do but i guess i guess i should have stocked up more man i don't know i don't know but luckily enough we got enough gold badges and we did the set for Combine Warrior RG3. Now, Mike Vick is definitely going to finish our current season, but we'll definitely get some RG3 gameplay out there, man. He should be fun to play with. 96 speed. Great speed, man. 97 throw power. Throw deep is still so bad, but once again, I don't care too much about that. And his throw mid and throw short is good. So, RG3 is a good pickup. There you have it, guys. I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Megatron gameplay, Ultimate Legend. Your boy picked him up. It'll be out later today. I'll see you guys then. Peace.